Physical agility testing uh, has been around, or isokinetic testing has been around for quite a number of years. Uh, it's used uh, in both collegiate as well as professional um, athletic areas. Um, it was originally, uh, maybe originally set up as part of NASA with the, uh, the training for the astronaut, astronaut program there. Uh, so it's been around for a number of years. Uh, it is a very safe way of doing evaluations. Mm -hmm. I do administer as part of the employee health program or department the physical agility test, uh, which utilizes uh, an isokinetic machine. Um, that uh, measures strength so that we can ensure that any, um, uh, any person coming into Tidelands Health would be able to demonstrate that they should safely be able to perform at their specific job level. Of course, there's some paperwork, as always, to fill out once, once an individual does come in for the testing. Um, after that, we give them a warm-up period. We'll take them around and have them um, either walk on a treadmill or a stationary bike for a few moments to, to give a quick warm-up. Um, after that, they're placed in the chair. Uh, they um, have some straps on so that we can isolate the movement within the specific joint that is being evaluated. Uh, they will be given some practice reps at that time. And once they are comfortable with the machine, the setup, then we will uh, actually start the, uh, the evaluation itself. Uh, the candidate would go through two sets of five reps on each extremity that's being measured. What we have them do is go through a series of movements uh, for both the left and the right knee as well as the left and the right shoulders. Um, the resistance coming from the isokinetic equipment, again, is um, dependent upon that individual's uh, capabilities. So again, it makes it a safer way. We're not putting a fixed amount of weight that someone would have to push and pull on. Um, after we do uh, complete that, that, those series of exercises, the information that is collected is sent to a third-party vendor for analysis and evaluation, who, uh, and that third-party vendor will actually determine the results for that individual. The main thing is relax as much as possible. Eat something prior to coming in. Um, make sure you have some fluids before you come in. Uh, dress appropriately, some loose clothing, athletic gear uh, possibly, uh, but not required, but some loose fitting clothing so that they do have a good freedom of movement within uh, those joints that will be evaluated.